Welcome to Dr. Jesse Rants or Celebrate. And I'm gonna rant or celebrate about this from IGN. Disney Plus loses 1.3 million subscribers following price increase. First and foremost, I'm gonna go and say it that who the fuck is still paying for this goddamn fucking garbage? You gotta be insane to be paying for whatever price to watch uh, a place where it's well it's not good for, uh, hey good example here you're paying disney plus so you kids can be entertained but it's not a good idea especially for the content that they've been pumping out lately after all it's utter garbage you cannot, uh, you need to be monitoring what they show on Disney Plus lately. It's a lot of sexual stuff that you shouldn't even be showing to kids. A lot of stuff that makes no sense. A lot of stuff that is just wrong. And a lot of stuff that is just not a good thing. I wouldn't be showing this stuff that they show on Disney Plus to my kids. Ever. You gotta be insane if you want to do that. So, what do they do? Well, it's possibly one of those TikTok parents. YouTube parents? Who just put those stuff on their kid's phone. And... And the kids will then learn whatever it is on TikTok and YouTube. And you get those problematic kids who barely respect their parents. Sorry. They don't respect their parents. Fuck, right? But then again, Disney Plus or Disney is right now only living out of their parks and... And cruise ships or that island. That's the only thing that they have been that is keeping them afloat because we all know their movies suck they have lost money indiana jones that lost money hmm let's see wish that lost money the black little mermaid that lost money what else did they release recently that i forgot about and um was it oh yeah the marvels that lost money didn't it that lost a lot of money. But anyway, let's continue, shall we? While Disney Plus may have lost 1.3 million subscribers in the final quarter of 2023, following a price increase, he also managed to cut its streaming business losses by 300 million. He could be part of those 300 million. It could be also related to the stuff that they decided to cut out of their programming. Stay tuned for what it is after this ad. Right, so, 
You want to know exactly what happened uh, that um, that one of the reasons it the recouped those losses? It's because last year they actually ended up cutting out from their servers shows that they did very recently, like Willow. Remember that garbage that came out recently? It was from a good movie back in the 80s, but now it's an utter garbage TV show? Yeah, they made it, it lasted for a few months, and then they deleted from their servers. Why? Because it was actually costing them money keeping that shit on their servers. Because... After all, people was not watching that utter garbage. So basically, I'm pretty sure they did a lot of those things to save those 300 million plus, obviously, increasing the price. Hmm. Anyway, continuing. In regards to price increase, Disney Plus ad free plan went up to from $10.99 per month to $13.99. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of increase. Well, then again, I'm not the one paying for this garbage because I'm not paying for this in plus. I don't find it good. I don't like it. I don't pay for it. And I celebrate when they lose money or when they start to go under or they fail. I celebrate that a lot lately. After all, I'm celebrating Suicide Squad failing epically. Epically, 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 epically. English. Anyway, continuing. And this one is a doozy, which proves exactly what I said at the beginning. Which includes Disney Parks. It also saw revenues for the quarter that were comparable to prior year quarter 23.5. Which, as you know, as well in the company, Disney generated all-time record in revenue operating income operating for its experience uh, department. The experience department is the park. It's the Disney's park. So basically, the only thing literally keeping the goddamn thing afloat is the park. Because after all, their entertainment industry, which is what made Disney what it is today, is not a total failure. Take a peek at this. Fa a variety with ABC being part of Disney itself. And this was also part of Disney. They actually shared the this on Disney's website, but then they took it out. Check out my video from yesterday. Alright. So you can see here standard A and they required, for instance, characters 50% or more of regular recurring written characters come from underrepresented groups. And you're gonna check what is underrepresented and you check the fine print below, which is in button, and it says context, context is critical when evaluating if a group is underrepresented. So basically, if your group is underrepresented, turns out to be straight white males, you're not gonna fit in the underrepresented groups. That's Disney for you today, so that's why you get a lot of utter garbage out of Disney while you get uh, ads and things coming out of Disney which do not seem to represent the actual population of the US. Which is odd. Right? Hmm. Anyway, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night and let's celebrate Disney going under. Well, at least losing 1.3 million subscribers, which is basically very good. <sighs> oh, and don't forget, fuck you, YouTube.